What's going on, y'all? I want to show you a feature in Studio One that can save you a lot of time and headache uh, when you use it and when you need to use it, and that is the move to origin. Uh, what that does is it'll move a file to the original time that it was recorded at in the session. Uh, this saved me a lot of time a few weeks ago on a mix that I was doing. Uh, the engineer sent me the files. Uh, to explain it, let me just show you what they sent me. So this is the hook from the song, and I can grab it, drag it into Studio One, uh, but for me to line it up in the original session where it should go, um, I would have to nudge it left and right and get it to sit exactly right, uh, which can take a lot of time, or more time than I would like to spend doing it. Uh, normally when you send other engineers files, you make the track start at one. Uh, I'll do a follow-up video showing how to do that next. But So what I was able to do, uh, because uh, WAV files are time stamped when they're recorded into a DAW, or most DAWs do. I know Pro Tools does, uh, Studio One does. So I can take these files, or I was able to take all the files, and under Edit, you have Move to Origin. So that moves the files to the original place where they were recorded it in the session. Uh, once I did that to all the files, uh, they lined up perfectly uh, right where I needed them to be. So that saved me a lot of time. Uh, now this doesn't work with loops, um, it only works with things that are recorded into the session. So to give you an idea, I'm going to, I'm going to record some audio into here. Uh, let's go to bar 50. What's up to everybody who's watching this on YouTube? Okay, so uh, you see I'm starting at bar 50. My tempo is 120, and I'm at a minute and 38 seconds into the session. Now, let's say I change this tempo. Let's drop it to let's drop it to 95. I'm still at bar 50. Moved to origin. Now it's moved, and uh, now it's at around bar 40. Uh, so you see I'm at a different place in the timeline as far, as far as the bars. But if you notice, I'm still at a minute 38 into the session. So let's go back to the original tempo that we recorded it at, which is 120. I'm still around bar 40. But if I go uh, to bar 40, now I'm at a minute 18 into the session. We move it, where did it go? Move, move it to the, uh, move to origin. Now it's gone back to 50. And if we go back to bar 50, you'll see we're right back at a minute 38 into the song. So w with these files being time stamped, it time stamps uh, the time where it was recorded at into the session, not the tempo, not the the bars or beats. Uh, so if you have the correct tempo for your session, um, moving it to the original time can get everything lined up uh, if you need to do that. And like I said, um, next I'm going to show a video on how to um, on how to collaborate files uh, with other people and how that's normally done. But uh, here you go. That's a uh, move to origin. Uh, really handy if you need to use it. Um, I'll catch y'all next time.